see if we can find the debutante and see what he's up to and have a chat to him. Moises. Mitchell. Hello there. How are you, mate? Good, and then yourself? Good, thanks, mate. Might just join you by the bed there, mate. What, what's, uh, what's going on here? I thought we'd just have a little bit of a chat. Beautiful. Yeah, what are you doing there? I was just listening to some Spotify, mate. Yeah? Yeah, just listening to some tunes. Well, we've got Moe here. Um, first question, just a bit to break the ice. Um, I've had a few different pronunciations of your name through commentators, people in the media and, and your teammates even. Do you want to just clear that up for us? Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure it's Moses Henriquez, but uh, I've heard of so many variations now that I'm fairly confused as well. We'll probably keep uh, being pronounced the wrong way anyway, but um, there you go, that's how it is. How is it, Mitch? How's it going? I'm just going to stick with Moses Enriquez. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Australian test player at number 432. Uh, how's it feel to, to be presented your bag here in cap? Who presented your cap? And, and probably some of your emotions getting that cap. Yeah, uh, Steve Rickson was, was the man to present the cap. Um, and, you know, it was, pretty, it was pretty important. I think I, I've known Stumper for, well, I think since I was about 10 years old. So um, I played cricket with uh, his son Dan in a lot in junior cricket and stuff like that and um, unfortunately he, he was uh, he, he played for a different team in the local St George area and uh, Stumper, Stumper was at a lot of the games of, of mine growing up so I've known I've known Steve Rickson for a long time um, and it was good to yeah it was good to receive the cap from him and just the feeling of um, you know having that you know getting that what you've always been working for um, that that sort of the, the final cap that um, you know, everything I ever wanted and I think it sort of symbolised like as I was playing junior cricket um, he was that one guy in that local area that I knew had played for Australia and sort of I had that goal of one day hoping to get that baggy green and, and it was good that he was the man to present it in the end Beautiful and back to back 50s on debut, your first test wicket um, how was that, that, that feeling getting those, that, that wicket and, and scoring those runs, important runs for us as well yeah, um, I was very nervous before going out to bat. I, I do get a lot more nervous batting than I do bowling. Um, and just before facing that first ball, um, and when the like when I was next into bat, uh, my legs were my legs were like jelly. So it was um, it was quite a strange feeling. But getting that first wicket, especially after Donny hit me for that big six, I I wasn't sure I was going to get a wicket uh, for a couple of tests. So or if I was lucky enough to play another one, so. Getting that first one out of the way was was very good. Well, the wickets and runs that no one can take away from you. Um, obviously, we're, we've come away from that that uh, that game with on the, the wrong end of the result, but um, some hard work there, so a hard wicket. What did you make of the wicket, and, and some positives you've taken out of that game? Um, yeah, I thought the wicket was different to obviously what we get in Australia. There was it was a lot of spin, and there was just no pace in the wicket for for the seam bowlers and. Uh, even though it did offer a bit of reverse swing, there was just so much time to <clears throat> for the batters to react off the wicket because of how slow it was. So um, it was obviously very difficult for the seam bowlers, and you saw that. You know, that I think in the second innings, India only bowled three three overs of pace in out of ninety odd overs. So uh, that's a remarkable stat in itself. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the conditions and the challenge of. Com- com- something completely different to back home and um, it, w- it was just a lot of fun to be out there in the middle and I had a lot of to- I had a lot of fun batting um, and you know I was lucky enough to get balls that bounce up and hit my glove that just went straight to ground and you know some other guys hit the glove and went in the air but you know I guess uh, it was a bit of beginner's luck there for me. We all need luck and uh, it's good to see you doing well. We we'll see someone that uh, I've, I've looked up to at New South Wales, and it's, it's great to, to share your debut with you. But um, now we're here in Hyderabad. Obviously, a couple of days of preparation now before the next test. Um, what are you going to look to do in these couple of days, and probably your preparation for this this next test? Uh, today is obviously a big, um, mainly just a recovery day. Indeed, um, we interrupting in, that? Yeah, just, <laughs> as you can tell, I was uh, just chilling out until you guys just rudely interrupted my my recovery, but. Um, yeah, no, it was just, it basically today will just be more of this, um, chilling out. I've never played a five-day game before um, it's after spending 160 overs in the field and then a, a fair bit of time out in the middle as well. Um, the legs are heavy, the back sore, so um, yeah, getting all the rest I can today before getting back into training tomorrow and the day after and 
just preparing and getting better at doing some things. Um, obviously, playing in these conditions and training in these conditions, preparing myself as well as I can for that next test match. Beautiful. Well, mate, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having you me. You definitely offered more than Nathan Lyon did in his blog. Um, so thanks for joining us again here on Cricket Australia TV. Make sure you tune in to www.cricket.com.au to follow the rest of the tour from India, and I'll be back with another blog probably later in the week. Thanks, guys.